Thomas's trusty friends. Thomas was taking his friend Ned to the old brickworks. Ned was excited. Today I get to demolish, called Ned. Demolish, Chef Thomas? Knock buildings down, cried Ned cheerfully. Thomas thought it strange that his friends were always excited about knocking buildings down. Miss Jenny had shown the foreman the demolition plans. It's time to go to work, she said. And remember... Safety first, cried Ned and Oliver. Oh, boy, said Ned. I can't wait to knock this building down. Oh, my, Ned. You're not here to demolish, rattled Oliver. You're supposed to scoop up the rubble. Ned was disappointed. Really wanted to knock buildings down. Ned was usually in trouble for breaking things, but today it wouldn't matter. Soon, Oliver was fitted with a wrecking ball. Knock this wall down first, the foreman called. Stand back, if you please, called Oliver. Mm -mm, said Oliver. The wall didn't fall down. Oliver swung his wrecking ball as hard as he could. <clears throat> the wall still didn't fall down. We need a bigger wrecking ball, cried the foreman. In no time, Oliver was fitted with a bigger wrecking ball. But still, the wall didn't fall down. Can I help? Ned asked hopefully. No, said the foreman. This is Oliver's job. Ned was sad. This is the strongest wall I've ever seen, said Oliver's operator. Then the foreman checked the wall again. We'll send for an even bigger wrecking ball, he said. Ned had gone back to loading rubble into Thomas's freight cars, but his heart wasn't in it. Ned, shouted Thomas. The rubble goes in the freight cars. Sorry, said Ned. He was dreaming of knocking buildings down. Finally, Oliver was fitted with the biggest wrecking ball he had ever lifted. He aimed very carefully, and he swung with all his might. But the wall didn't fall down. Oh, bother, said Oliver. This building will never come down, groaned his operator. Ned was still dreaming of knocking buildings down and wasn't watching where he was going. Look out, cried his operator, but it was too late. The chimney rocked. The bricks crumbled. The workman and the foreman took cover. Oliver and Thomas watched in amazement. Oops, said Ned. Hooray, cheered the workman. Ouch, said Oliver. dirty and dented. And Thomas's freight cars were full. Bust my buffers, cried Thomas. I'm loaded. I did it. I did it, cried Ned proudly. Smash the smithereens, he steamed. Do you want me to break anything else? Ow. No, sighed Oliver. I think you've done enough for one day. Mm.